guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Simple Gear Access. I literally don't know what the fuck to really expect with this. I mean, honestly, we've seen everything and anything in this show, so I, I mean, I know I'm gonna get the I'm, I'm gonna surprise a lot. Come here, Cody. But honestly, I really have no idea what or who um the next villain could be but yeah other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three two one go Ugh. okay you gotta you gotta go over there Because let me guess, she was busy. But still, you should have got it done. Oh, damn. I just, I have a feeling she's not going to do her fucking homework. Like, oh my God. And this child, it's going to be September 1st. And I'm just going to be like, did you finish her homework? Is that a lit? Oh, it's an alligator. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh. Here in Florida. I haven't seen a crocodile or an alligator in like a while. Sebastian? I don't think this season's on Crunch Roll, is it? Because if they did, I mean, by now I think Crunch Roll should have been done with all the uploading for it. <laughs> See, it's like every season Tsubasa gets more and more badass and I just love her. She's so fucking precious. <laughs> Are you serious, really? <laughs> I just, let me just go die because that, like, oh, oh, the singing, the oh, god, that melody was just so fucking good. Like, when it, mm, mm, I can't, <laughs> so good, I can't want to die. Mm -hmm. Well then, hold up. Let me say this real quick. You show Kitty and shit up it, and they ain't even here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just kind of wish she sung draw on iTunes, but no. American iTunes is so fucked up right now. Especially if you have Apple Music like me. What the 
such style. <laughs> oh, help my baby. I mean, but BBK has done worse and crazier things, but that is fucking BBK in a nutshell. Do he did it? He going? <laughs> Why did he still be there? <laughs> the heck is that a shit? What the? How? Jesus. I have a question. Um, is this guy, like, I know he has that red patch. Is this dude supposed to be like an anime version of Hitler? Because I'm kind of getting that vibes, or he's just that corrupted and, and shit, because, you know, if you win the military, not everybody's just a military people are corrupted and just fucking nuts. So, and I have met them as a former military brat. I mean, well, shit, finally. That's all I needed. There you go. We can just end the season right here and there. Let's see. What the fuck? Tsubasa. Tsubasa. What the fuck? Fuck, are you serious? Who does that? <laughs> I can't. I mean, everybody on that ship is dead now. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> well, that was a nice way to open this season. Okay. Damn. Yes. No, oh my god, fucking talk to your damn girlfriends.
So are you basically dealing with a terrorist group again? What the fuck? Are you serious? That has to be more in Christmas past, doesn't it? Because I still have so many unanswered questions about Chris. I mean, seriously. Season 1 gave me, like, a little bit, but I honestly really need more. Mm -hmm. see okay you gotta love chris because when someone confronts her about her shit she's just like mm, let me not let me avoid the fucking conversation but there's gonna be a time where she's gonna have to talk to it with them honestly i'm your girlfriend oh my god <laughs> I love her so damn much, but I just want her to be like, hey, I want to sit. I want to talk about my past, you know, because she has so many feelings and just things that I relatively don't know about her that I want to know and that I think the girls need to know because those are not only your friends, but your fucking girlfriends and they stand by you no matter what. Fuck what. So, I mean, come on. You did the ish last year with Tsubasa. I mean, last season with Tsubasa and Maria, and I love that. So I can see my original team to have a heart to heart. Um, I'm not sending out the noise.
this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's more simple than users. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding? Hold up. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, it's dead. And now what, you guys going to like a weapon? What's the number for? Mm hmm. Nico? I know that looks more like TV to me. How the hell you want to defeat a fucking dragon? Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, honestly, it doesn't really look like a dragon. It looks more like a snake. <laughs> So you're just killing people for this snake thing?
You want to end it right there, aren't you? You fucking son of a bitch. God damn it. I hate you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. I don't know why, but like with all of these guys, mostly all these men, um, in these uniforms, I'm starting to get like a little bit of a soccer Tony the Evil vibe, especially with the Alchemist and everything and the shit that's gone in that show. If you have not seen that show, please watch that show. That show is good as fuck. It is like literally the for Aoi Yuki and Rolls, I think as of right now, that's probably my number one show for her. I think second would be this. It's between this and Overlord, even though she's barely in it. And then um fourth would probably be because of pretty hair because she's in that show and she's doing fucking amazing in that but okay so i got a lot of questions this season has to dive number one hopefully into chris's bats because it makes the most sense going talking about something that she freaked out about the name of the town then her having her uh, a flashback it's gonna be more focused on chris possibly not as much as i probably want it to be because he, he and everybody else are really the main focus, but he, he is that number one focus. These three girls, they're alchemists, so we're going into the alchemy season again, which I still think is interesting, but I thought it would be something completely different going into this season. It still could be. So right now, I'm a little iffy towards it. Um, I kind of want to know a little bit more about them and what are the reasons they're here besides being alchemists. And such, but it's a lot of unanswered questions with this first episode. I mean, it was a really good opening. Honestly, that I mean, oh, that it was just really good. I liked it for what it was and how it started. I mean, I don't know. Okay, but I have a question. Who the fuck is that? Like the hairstyle right there. That is Hibiki's hair. You can tell because, like, and I can't believe I'm gonna point this out uh, using a mouse. But you can tell with the hair, because, like, this is the Kissing Anime one that I downloaded, so, of course, they're gonna have, like, freaking, like, commercial shit in it. Um, the hair is blonde, or, like, a dirtyish blonde, just like Hibiki. Um, her antennas? Yeah, like, the whole hair did look this, the freaking same. So, are we doing something from, like, Subasa up in this? Like, is there another Hibiki somewhere in the distance right here who's actually the real Hibiki? And then the Hibiki who we've all known and loved since episode one is a fake Hibiki. And I, I don't know. I mean, it, I got some questions. Why do these three girls want this somewhat Hibiki Miku looking girl? I got some questions about that. But I mean, honestly, this I'm guessing like with this situation, we're probably not going to know until like episode six, maybe. Because, I mean, it could be her doppelganger one. But then I also, when I look at her hair, it's not only, like, a dirty blonde-ish color. It's, like, her bottom, like, her peaks, like, the below her hair, the bottom parts of her hair, look more blackish. I can't really tell, but it seems darker on the bottom of her tips rather than her top. But honestly, really, who knows? And this one could also be an alchemist as well. I mean, who the fuck knows? But I hate the fact, like, really, who ends the episode like that? Badass, get ready to kick some butt, and then it's just like, cut. We're done with the episode. And just like, really. I mean, honestly, if I was watching this show <laughs> when this aired, and if I saw that oh, this ending for this first episode, I would have been fucking pissed because I, I couldn't do it. I, I, I now know how my mom feels, like, when we're watching this one show on Hulu together, and every single week, it's, like, a eight-episode series, and it's, like, almost done. Um, it ends in, like, a really weird, abrupt way in a cliffhanger, but it makes you want more, always wanting more, and my mom's like, I don't really want to watch this show anymore because I'm gonna wait until the show's completely over and then try to watch it. I'm over here like, no, I need to know at that time on Wednesday night, or Wednesday morning, Tuesday night, whatever, to know what the fuck is gonna happen next with these situations of these kids and these moms and ish. But yeah, I I, I don't know. That's the only thing I could really compare it to because, I, like, dead ass. If I was watching this on a week to week basis when this show is airing, especially with the last season, if I had to um watch the show way before and then watch the last season when the show is airing. <laughs> 
like, what the fuck is this? Like, no. So, yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay. Episode two and three, two, one, go. That is one creepy mask. So she's a really. Th this is gonna be something that I had to deal with thousands of years ago when Fine with <laughs> right <laughs> has to be. Okay, hold up. Wait, with the heart thing, now you kind of went into a wedding peach a little bit, even though they're not transforming into, like, brides, but still... So they're not gonna go ahead and like uncrystallize her right here and now, right? I mean, because of course this didn't happen because we've already seen this part and it's just like a mini little recap seconds for like a couple of minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, not really. So then they probably only have like a few more. You don't even have time.
So y'all gonna fight today too? I mean, I want to see how y'all alchemists get down. But I mean, No, oh my god, no, stop, my precious baby, I don't want to do this again with her. What the fuck? Or then how the fuck do you defeat something that regenerates? What kind of bullshit is this? This ain't no darling bullshit, but this is bullshit. Like, absolutely bullshit. <laughs> Oh, it's serpentine. It's okay, you've done worse things, it's fine. I don't wait, did that just say we can't sneak it off? So we can't go a certain amount of Okay. Yeah. Tiki. Okay. All right. So we got a name. Good.
But then what about Chris? I don't even want to know. But you did what you thought was right. I know that's a consequence, but still, you at least he at least he didn't die. That's the good thing about that. Yes, he's lost his fucking leg, but at least he didn't die. But now you don't. <laughs> I love it, really. You never don't buy me the fucking cereal, Mango. Okay, is, is Kiki gonna come out of her crystal by the end of this episode? Wait, is that- Oh! <laughs> she always comes back to best girl in V-Day. Oh my god. Uh... Like way before Supasa he became Kiss King. Fine was always on her own and badass. Badass bitch. And so since Fine isn't here, you can get revenge basically. Yeah, but how do you get Tiki out of that? I'm telling you, so blame her for that.
<laughs> Not anymore. Mm, that's not too easy though. Damn, I punched the home. <laughs> at their fucking limit. <laughs> well, then at least pull the fuck up. But Maria, you can't handle those two by yourself. <laughs> oh shit. Y'all screwed. The blue aura, um, But hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So when the freaking plane gotta stop somewhere, how the hell are they gonna stop when they ain't got no wheels? So we're not gonna talk about that blue aura or anything? I mean.
the snake kingdom, right? Well, goddamn, finally. Because he became the god more than ever generates. But it's still going to regenerate as a knight. And you're gonna end it like that. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> two for two. I mean, it's not really a cliffhanger, but still it kind of is because oof. But you would think that because of the fact is once he became punched through the snake, it would immediately regenerate. Is it because it's not the actual freaking snake that Saint Germain like summoned? I don't know, God. What the fuck is going on? And the blue aura. Like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm guessing it's like another power up that's going to come out later on in the season, possibly. But the fact is that this season, going on in what I said in episode one, is mainly about Chris's backstory. Getting the answers that I wanted in season one. Thank you. Because Chris is one of those characters. Out of like literally everyone, I'm glad that we got something about Subasa because Subasa is my other best girl. But Chris was one of those that I was like, I need to know like so many things. Like, I want to know why she's the way she is. I mean, in season one, you got that answer, but it still felt like there was a lot of unanswered questions with it. And so, what I'm hoping with this season is the fact that we've now seen people from her flashbacks and that she gets to meet them for the first time in forever. It's good because she needs that clarity. She needs to officially, you know, not like, she needs to clear this situation that's coming, you know, a, a, a problem that's coming towards her right now so that she can be a newer and better person going into this final season after this season is over. Because I don't know. Who knows how she's going to be in season five. But right now, especially with the fact that Stefan, yes, got his leg taken away and because of the fact is that she was the one who shot him because honestly yes there really was no other way because he was gonna die no matter what even if she didn't do anything and what's her face would have been even more upset about it but she's upset she's just not she's not as upset if stefan had have died but i get the fact this is going to be a season i think that's going to be really really traumatizing for chris as a character because of the fact is it is her backstory like I said, it's a lot of unanswered questions that we're finally getting solved into this series. I do hope that um, Subasa's grandfather does come back on this show again. Maybe between this next two seasons, possibly. I would like to see him again. So, I mean, because he's an asshole. And then I kind of want to know about, like, he became mom and dad. Like, what the hell happened with them? I mean, are they together again? Are they still not together I mean, I was assuming that season four was going to continue right from that moment, but uh, no. <laughs> so now that we finally have a name, Tiki, and that this situation all has to deal with and comes back to Fine once again, I, I do like that. But I feel like now, th see, this is why, like, and I'm going to say it again because I, I think I said it in season one. This is why I feel like Fine shouldn't have died in season one. They should have caught her, and they should have captured her, and she should have stayed in jail so that any little situation that had to come up that had to deal with her, season one, season two, season four now, I'm guessing season five is also going to have to deal with Fina in a way, um, she could help them, but because of the fact is she's gone now, they have to figure out the pieces on their own, and they have to figure out why, um, essentially, St. Germain and her crew are feeling a certain type of way towards Fine. Honestly, really, who knows? So I'm hoping that with each of these girls, they've already done a little bit about the Tiki St. Germain backstory with Fine. I hope that the other two kind of get their own backstories with their situations with Fine because it feels like they all have some anger towards Fine. And now because Fine, their main 
objective is out of the way. They can do whatever the hell they want to now. They just need to wake up Tiki. So the biggest thing is how the hell are they going to, like, freaking wake up Tiki? Because, see, this is, like, this goes back to fucking Attack on Titan Season 1 when Best Girl Annie got fucking crystallized. And I was like, oh, hey, getting into Season 2, Season 3, who knows if I'm going to watch this last season. I really don't know myself. Um, I asked a question going into Season 2 or Season 3. I was like, hmm. I mean, Fina, Annie ever gonna wake up? And everybody was just like, who knows? And so, I, I'm just, that's how I feel right now. We know Tiki's gonna wake up. She ain't coming until, like, episode five, six, maybe even seven, but honestly, when she comes, she's gonna, I think she's gonna be more badass than any of the other female villains that we've had. And then, like I said, whoever is this last villain for season five, I mean, she might, like, take the cake. She might be the most badass villain. She might be the Thanos of this season, of this series, honestly. Whoever this final villain is in season 5. But right now, like, Tiki and St. Germain and the group, they are like, if I can compare it to one Marvel villain or any super villain right now, they are like, um... No. Ultron. There we go. I was trying to get this thing on it. Like, no, honestly, no, no, no. I take that back. They're like Loki. <laughs> They're like a villain who's just like, oh hey, mm-hmm. we we know you're you're there and you're a bad guy, but it's just like you can't take him seriously in a way. But I, I do take them seriously. I just feel like Saint Germain and her little posse. I can't really take them seriously. But when Tiki comes, I think that's when I'm gonna look at these girls as a whole and be like, well, shit. Didn't expect that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Sim Figure Access. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mashup Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.